The newest derivative of the GE90 growth engine has a fan diameter of 3.26 meters, delivering 115,000 pounds of thrust. It's the largest commercial turbofan engine ever built. To get an idea of its dimensions, try to picture 55 medium-sized cars with the engine towering above them. And this engine is so powerful, it could lift all 55 of these cars up into the air together. The GE90 entered into service in 1995 and powers various variants of the Boeing 777, so you'll find it in most of the major airlines' wide-body fleets. The propulsion system poses a big challenge when it comes in for a shop visit, not least because of the sheer dimensions of its components. The size of the core engine alone, with the fan removed, is bigger than the full size of many other engines. MTU Maintenance Hanover is well prepared to start work on this giant. The company adapted the layout of the shop and introduced a new test facility for engines in the high thrust category, up to 150,000 pounds of thrust. Even for our employees, getting to see an engine four meters in diameter is not a daily occurrence. And I can still vividly recall that day when we had an event in our test cell and the GE90 was suspended up there in the adapter while the project manager stood below it and held a presentation for 170 employees. The seats were all snapped up in no time and I had to stand. There was this incredible buzz in the room. Everyone was captivated. And it's exactly this kind of enthusiasm and excitement we need to be able to provide top-notch services that delight our customers. It usually takes several weeks to disassemble, inspect, overhaul, and then reassemble all of the engine parts. Once the engine has been reassembled, we check the performance parameters here in the test cell, the thrust and the exhaust gas temperature, for example, to verify that they're in compliance with the specs. We also have the opportunity to test the engine to see if it's in full working order and the chance to simulate its behavior on wing. A test run typically takes half a day to a full day, and if everything is the way it should be, we send the engine back to the customer without delay.